Hey there! Today we're going to look at these little critters. These are little data cartridges for the controlled data mass storage system. Now these date to the 1970s and in the 1970s there was well, a need for some larger mainframe shops to have a, a large archive of data that they could get to rather quickly. And, well, yeah, most uh, large main sh mainframe shops like banks and things like that might have a huge archive on 9-track tapes. Well, 9-track tapes are not entirely fast and, well, not entirely automated either. You typically, when you uh, needed a tape, you uh, message as a user, you would say, hey, I need this tape. The message would pop up on, on a console where a tape ape would... Sitting in front of the console, he'd say, oh, hey, this user needs this tape mounted on this drive or whatever. Well, you have to get off a seat, go back into the tape library, find the tape, come back out, mount the tape, and away you go. And who knows how long that took. There were a couple of robotic nine-track tape systems, uh, but by far, it was human-powered. Anyway... Various vendors wanted to get this automated and get the speed up. And uh, when you think of mass storage systems in the 1970s, most people would probably immediately think of the IBM 3850 mass storage system. That was a huge device that hooked on to, uh, well, 370s basically, and uh, allowed for a gigantic amount of data for the time to be accessible fairly quickly using specialized cartridges and robots. Basically robot arms that would pick these special cartridges and zip around and stick them in the drives and things would just be so much faster. Now the thing that most people don't realize is that control data also gave this a shot. It was not a terribly successful product, but hey, they, 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 they had to, to give it a shot. I got these from a departed friend who used to work on cybers. I forget where these came from. I might want to say Los Alamos. I'm not sure. Sandia? I don't I don't remember, but unfortunately good old Dave is gone and uh well he left me with these uh well before before he died he figured, you know what, that guy likes computers. Here's a couple of these things. You can see they're very close in the serial number too. Anyway, let's take a look at these things. Now uh, these here are actually magnetic tapes. Some of you may may remember from an earlier video that IBM had a mass storage system using uh, optical uh, technology, basically photo uh, photography. That's the photo store. And if you go back, you'll see my my video on the photo store uh, unit. Here's one of these photo store units. Anyway, these are magnetic. The IBM's weren't, IBM entry was also magnetic. And uh, if you go to the CHM Computer History Museum website, they've got a nice brochure for uh, this control data mass storage system. And you can see they have some cutaway shots or some internal shots of the machines. And you can see these things are just stacked and stacked and stacked and stacked. Each of these giant... Well, essentially, tape robots could hold 2,000 of these units. Each of these units could hold about 8 megs. So, the CDC mass storage system was uh, basically a 16 gig device. That was a huge amount of data. Apparently, it could access any of these within 25 seconds. So, like I said, much, much faster than, well, a 9-track tape library. The, uh, the IBM entry, I don't have an IBM mass storage system cartridges, but they were very similar. They were a little bigger. Um, I think they were about as long, but maybe about 2 by 2 inches. Those hold 50 megs, I believe. But these are 8 meg devices. Let's open one up. Like I said, it is actually tape. You can see you have a couple of hubs here. And yeah, they, they even put their uh, their logo on the hub. It's got a little door, and the uh, the robot would 
Grab onto the clips, open the door, and start unwinding the tape. And there is the tape. Now normally this would spring back shut, but it's a little gummy over the years. And I don't mind actually opening this up because, um, well, I don't have one of these mass storage system machines. And, well, there's rumors that they only sold four of them. So I don't believe there are any survivors. <laughs> So I don't mind opening up a tape, you know, who knows what beta this had on it, maybe super secret stuff, but hey, you know, whatever. But door opens, and you can see the tape, that's the leader there, but there is indeed a little bit of tape in there. It's not very long, but it sure is wide. I have no idea how many tracks this was. There is a lot, quite a lot. It is supposed to spring shut, but like I said, it is kind of gummed up. So yeah, the uh, the robot arm would go and know where know where each uh, each cartridge was in the matrix of um, cartridges. Pull it out, put it in the uh, the unwinding the unwinding system mechanism. It would open the door, unwind the tape and spool it up into basically i believe it was a, a vacuum column drive just a very very odd odd wide short vacuum column drive for very high speed so there we have it just more little bits out of the uh, the um the control data vein of the mine <laughs> um yeah there's still more to come but i will get back to uh We'll get back to the IBM stuff and eventually the Burroughs and the Univac and, and all this, the other stuff. There is a tremendous amount of, amount of videos to make if I want to show off all the, the, the neat things, the, the stuff that I've accumulated over the years. So, uh, yep, I'm still extremely busy, so I will try and get videos up. They might be a little shorter ones like this, but I will try to get them up as I have time. All right, well, if you have any questions, uh, just leave them in the comments. I can maybe do a little more research on this. I don't know a whole lot about the mass storage system. I encourage you to go and uh, go to the CHM website, and uh, if you Google around for it, you'll find Control Data Mass Storage Device or something like that. And they do have a nice color, scans of a nice color brochure from, from CDC in the mid-70s, and it does show... Well, okay, the machine's kind of boring. It's a very large harvest gold tan uh, box. Although, I think I may have a little wood grain on it. Oh, so 70s. Anyway, I encourage you to go look at that for uh, maybe a little more information. And, uh, yeah, if you have a comment, leave a comment. You know what to do. See you later. Bye-bye.